Well, hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Rowan Wintersong, and today's video is dedicated to my dad. My dad got COVID for the first time. He's a late bloomer. <laughs> no, for real though, we all know that COVID sucks when you have it. Um, we probably, most of us have had it by now. Um, when I had COVID, I didn't have energy to do anything, even things that took literally no energy to do. I didn't have the mental energy for it. So I literally laid in bed and hated my life for, you know, basically about a week, a week and a half. It was not fun. Um, Dad's highly vaccinated and boosted and everything, so maybe it won't be as bad for him. Um, but anyway, he did request some interesting things to watch uh, in our family group chat. So I had an idea. I thought that um, since I post videos, you know, on average about once a day, maybe a little less from time to time. Um, since I post video, I thought I would dedicate this video to him and do something that I know he would like. So, Dad likes big monster battles. He likes dragons and dinosaurs and big explosions. And uh, this one, guess what? We've already got a quest in our uh, quest log here. If you look at the upper right, uh, the upper left hand side of the screen, we get to kill a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw for the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. So those, there's not very many machines that are harder than those two in the game, and I, they're really big, so I think Dad's gonna like this. Anyway, let's try this out. Uh, before we go, I want to show a couple changes that I made. Uh, a couple things I'm going to try. Um, so, I went and got another Shadow War bow. And what I think I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to focus on individual elements. So, what I understand this will do is it will allow me to make fewer shots to get the status effects that I'm looking for. So, if I want to freeze an enemy, instead of firing four, firing my bow four times to get that effect, maybe I'll only have to fire it two or three times. Uh, obviously a big machine like, uh, like the Thunderjaw, probably gonna have to fire like five or six times or something, um, but it, this should make it uh, quicker. So I've got a bow specifically for ice, I've got a bow for damage, like hard damage and tear, of course, tearing off uh, machine components. I've got a bow that focuses specifically on shock, and I've got one for fire. So depending on what, uh, which, what I'm walking into, I might swap around my weapons a little bit. Um, so that way I have the, you know, the best advantage possible. Uh, one other thing I did is I got a rope caster. I got the shadow rope caster specifically. Starting with the shadow rope caster, you're able to tie down big monsters because it uses heavy ropes. Um, I know I haven't used this uh, on camera, but I did practice with it just a bit to see how it works. And it's actually pretty cool. You just fire at it just like a bow and it will attach a rope to the, uh, the machine and then attach the other end of the rope to the ground, um, peg it into the ground, I'm guessing. And if you do this enough times, depending on the how big the machine is, um, it might take one, two, three, four, five, or six uh, ropes, but that machine will then be held down, and um, that supposedly will make it uh, vulnerable to you for a short period of time. Um, if you actually do damage to it, it breaks out of the ropes, but you can do things to it to prepare it for damage. Uh, for example, you can freeze it. You can fire uh, f f uh, the freeze arrows or shock arrows or fire arrows to put status effects on it. And uh, uh, fire arrows might, since it does a damage over time, it might actually break it. I'm not sure. I haven't tried yet. Um, but I know that shock and freeze arrows do not break it out of that. But anyway, um, you can prepare it with those status effects that'll allow you to do more damage. You can also use tear arrows, I believe. Um, to tear off some more components. I'm not sure. There's some rules that I ha still haven't figured out yet, but we'll get there. So, uh, f also, I was recommended to get a infinite fast, uh, the golden fast travel pack, I think it's called, by UFC Knight. Thank you for the suggestion, the good suggestion. 
And what that does, it allows me to fast travel as much as I want from campfire to campfire without having to worry about running out of the travel packs. So that'll definitely come in handy. Uh, last episode, we were kind of discussing, um, you know, my slight annoyance at mounting in the game because I keep having to get off. So he made some suggestions. This was one of them. And also, there's a couple uh, perks here, like this one here, the mounted perk, uh, pickup perk, which will allow me to not get off my mount to pick up items. And also, this one, which I think is pretty cool, I might use it. I like looking cool, so if this lets me do that, then I will probably get it. Uh, where I can jump off my mount to make kills. So, anyway, thank you, UFC Knight. Great suggestions. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to try the Thunderjaw. Uh, sorry guys, Pull, pull, pulling up the map here. Thunder draws up here. We've gone through this side a few times and seen him stalking the area. So we're gonna go there. And we're gonna pull up the machine catalog. We have an idea. Uh, for a strategy. Okay. Alright, so the machine catalog here. We'll show you the Thunder Jaw weaknesses and strengths. So its body is actually kind of uh, resistant to shock damage. So we're going to not use shock at all. Um, it's got blaze canisters buried in its spine. Kind of not likely we're going to end up using those because they're buried. Difficult to get to. It's got a da data nexus on its foe head. We might make use of that if we run out of uh, good places to shoot or if it doesn't expose its side to us. It's got disc launchers on its back. Th those are actually the first things we're gonna attack. We're gonna take off the disc launchers. Um, it's got two of them, so it's got one uh, on each side. Um, it can't really see it on the picture because it only highlights the one, but you can knock both of them off and you can actually use these weapons against, uh, against the Thunderjaw. But we're not going to do that initially. We're just going to knock them off to start. There's a freeze canister um, in its stomach, it looks like. Um, or a leg, I can't tell which. Probably underneath it. That's where they usually are. Anyway, um, those are kind of hard to get to, so we probably will ignore those. The main focus is going to be the heart. The heart, uh, it's got side panels that cover up this heart, which you can just tear off. So we'll tear off the weapons. We'll tear off the side panels. We're going to tie it down. While it's tied down with the rope caster, we're going to freeze it. And freeze has the benefit of increasing actual damage. Um, I think with arrows, um, their damage is increased at least two times, maybe three or four. I, um, I, I haven't done enough research on it. I just know that ice... Uh, excuse me. A frozen machine will take three or four, two to four times more damage from arrows. So that's gonna help us take it down faster. Um, it probably will take more damage from its own weapons too, the disc launchers. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a shot um, if we have a chance. Uh, it's got power cells in its butthole here in its booty hole. Um, I don't think it's worth going after those, especially since up here it says that it's strong against shock, so it's resistant to it. Um, it's got a radar on its back, um, which allows it to scan and, and find you if you're motionless, or rather if you're moving, it will find you with that scan. It's got the cannons on its cheeks, um, and it also has a weapon, its tail is a weapon. So this thing is basically one big walking weapon. So yeah. Once again, the rundown, we're going to knock off its weapons. Uh, we're going to tear off the little panel covering up its heart. We're going to tie it down. While it's tied, we're going to freeze it. Then we're going to pick up its weapons or shoot it with our own arrows in the heart. And then um, wash, rinse, repeat. I don't know. After that, I guess we'll we'll see how, how close to dead it is. It, Hopefully it'll be close. Anyway, that's our that's our strategy. Uh, we're gonna switch our weapons around real quick. Make sure we got the right weapons. Shadow War Bow. That's ice going on this side. Sharp Shot Bow going on the top. That's gonna be our damage. We'll have a Rope Caster on the bottom. 
That is a rope caster, right? Yep, rope caster. Um, we'll use the hunter bow fire on the right hand side. Probably won't end up using that. So we're probably going to end up using ice and damage with uh, tear blast arrows. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, first things first, tear blast. All right, let's highlight it. You can see its weapons over there. All right. Let's let him pass us. Okay, tie bla tear blaster. Make sure we have enough. Ooh, probably should have done that first. Holding. All right, all right. We're going to freeze it. All right, it's frozen. Tear blast its heart. Expose it. Shoot it. 708. Look at that, guys. That's a lot of damage. Woo! Trying to tear off its uh, laser weapons from its cheek. All right, I vote we're gonna lock them down again. Let's go, guys. Oh, we got him. All right, let's make sure he's frozen again. Where are his weapons? Here's his weapon. Look at that. Disc launcher. Boom, boom. All right, let's do this. Not much Woo! Okay. Is this gonna work? Ah! Boom. Alright, freeze him again. Guys, we got this. He's already almost dead. Please tell me I'm recording. <laughs> okay. Oh, it did damage to him. Come on now. Oh! <laughs> we killed him. We killed him. Dude, we barely even took any damage. See? See, in the Marine Corps, we learned this thing called the seven Ps. I think it's seven. I can't count. But it's proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. What a perfect example of that. Thunderjaw, all of your loots are now belong to us. Oh, look at that fire coil, corruption coil, freeze coil, thunder jaw lens, echo shell, blaze, chill water, sparker, and a thunder jaw trophy for our quest. Guys, that was awesome. I'll find a use for you. And you got, we got three unique modifications. If three of them drop, I think it would be worth it to use resources to kill kill a lot of these so we can get more modifications like that. Because those are those are the epic, the purple ones. Very, very super rare. 
I mean, I guess maybe not actually rare, because they drop relatively often enough, but I think it's worth farming. Oh, we had a little scratch. It's now repaired. All right. <laughs> Quick save. All right, so next one up is... Let me see here. Let's pull up our catalog again. Uh, just a second, guys. I'm going to pause it. Just a moment. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, got a couple messages that I had to respond to. Anyway, back to uh, Dad's special COVID entertainment episode. So next one we're going to do is the Storm Bird. Big, gigantic uh, bird. Anyway, uh, this one is apparently resistant to shock also. That's... That makes me sad. Uh, it's got no body weaknesses, again, so we're going to have to focus on its weak points. Uh, it does have a blaze canister on its booty hole. Uh, it's got engines on its wings, and those we can tear off. It will be weak to tear. Um, and I'm assuming that if you tear them off, it'll, um, they'll stop. They won't be able to fly anymore. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. I would imagine its flying attacks are probably bad. The worst. Um, it's got a freeze canister on the back of its, uh, on the top of its back here, and it's got a lightning gun on its chest. So we're going to shoot that lightning gun off because that sounds bad. Um, I think we're going to tie it down. If we can tie it, we're going to tie it down. Um, we're going to aim for its freeze canister on its back at the same time freezing it. And then we will shoot its engines to tear them off. Um, I think we can probably... I don't know if they're actually weak to damage necessarily. We'll try just shooting it with damage arrows first. Um to see if it does better damage. Uh, if not, we'll just tear the moth while it's tied down. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot off its chest gun first, because that's I think is probably the biggest danger. It's shock attacks. Then we'll tie it and freeze it. by shooting its canister and then we'll shoot its engines so gun tie freeze engines i think in that order i guess we could technically shoot its blaze canister but i'm yeah we'll we'll equip a fire a fire bow for it as well so weapons we have our frost frost bow we've got our damage bow We've got our fire bow, or this one, fire bow, on that side. And then we've got our rope caster on the bottom. So, let's refill our ammo before going over there. Okay. I don't have this stuff maxed out yet, because I haven't had a chance to work on it. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Fill these up. Fill that up. Okay, we're full on arrows, on ammunition. Okay, so first things first, we'll shoot its weapon off. All right, so we're good, we're ready. Oh, I forgot to do this last battle. We can actually equip more than one arrow at a time right now. Uh, we, we can only do two, it's this uh, ability here. Double shot. Um, if we get three more points, or at some point, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to get next, but we can actually equip up to three arrows at a time. So, um, we can, yeah, that'll give us a little bit of an edge. All right, so we're going to go to our map here and find, where is it telling us to go? It's telling us to go down, go here. Okay, got chargers, stalkers north of there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Alright, well, we can already see where that's at. There's the bird. 
It looks like a normal sized bird, but guess what? That bird is really far away and it's huge. We're nearing something. You hear the bad music going, that means we're, we're close by to some uh, enemies or to something that would want us dead. Bring that up later. Okay, there's some. Uh, Sneak past these guys. Is there any place to hide up here? Is it going to discover us? Not yet. Sorry for the slow movement. I'm a scaredy. All right, go over it again. Remember, the seven Ps, guys. Puh, 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 puh. Okay, Stormbird. Weapon, so tear, tie, freeze, engines. All right, got this. We have to be saw. They ha has to see us first. I don't think it's gonna come down otherwise. Hey! Oh, I jumped. It saw me. You coming? You're probably gonna fire some stuff at me, right? Did it knock it off? Oh yeah, I got him. Nope. Why? I'm confused. It's still firing electrical attacks at me. Did I get it? Still no. Maybe. I can't tell. Oh, okay. Uh, potions. Uh, tie down. Tie down. We're gonna tie it. That did not work. Can I not tie this? Well, it's way up there. Oh! Oh, gosh. Let's tie him down. Is it gonna work? So maybe I can only tie him when he's actually on the ground already. Damn, that takes a lot. Okay, time to freeze. Here we go. Time again. Got him. All right, let's try shooting those uh, engines. Uh, that didn't work. And I'm a bad shot. Ah, come on now. Maybe I have to tear him. I didn't seem to do more damage than normal. Got him. Okay. We're gonna knock off them engines. He's not frozen. All right, knock off. Oh, we got him. Jeez, it's actually kind of hard to hit that. Maybe you hit his eyes? Ah. Oh, no. I ran out of ammo. Okay. Frozen still, he's frozen. We're gonna shoot his fire canister. Well, the 
will work. He's no longer tied. And he's on fire. Got him. So apparently the trick is to keep him... Oh, damn. He still has the... I have to replace it. Well, we're doing better. Not 100%. All right. Time to tie him down again. Got him. Okay. What in the hell is going on there? Look at him. He's all sideways. There's another fire canister. We're going to shoot that. How is he just floating there? Come on now. Will this even work? Let's shoot him with regular damage bows. He's like... He's like floating in the air, guys. That's a little crazy. Is he bugged? There he goes. Oh, I knocked him down. Oh, we got him. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Woo! <coughs> okay. So, you kind of have to wait uh, you can tie him down while he's in the air, apparently. Let's see. Look, purple loot. Let's see how much he drops. Three. Ooh, dang. Look at that handling coil. Got a little bit of uh, weave for my armor. Cool. Shards and three coils. So these two machines drop three coils. That is a lot. Or three modifications. I think it was easier to take the thunder job down, but it could be that I just didn't, wasn't doing it correctly. I'll have to watch a video um, or read up on a, stra a better strategy to kill this thing uh, faster than the thunder jaw, or as fast as the thunder jaw. Honestly, I'm kind of satisfied that we took uh, one, of one of them down, let alone both. <laughs> No, let me stand on top of it. I earned this. It's making... Yeah, it just keeps sliding down. Damn. No screenshot, guys. Sorry. All right. So, <laughs> looks like we finished that quest. That was actually faster. We did that in a half an hour, guys. Um, let's go turn it in. Let's see what they have to say if anybody's impressed. Maybe that guy uh, that was in Meridian that hates us, Assis, I think his name was, Assis. Um, he hates us because he thinks that we're savages, or that Aloy is a savage. Let's see if he's impressed. He'll be like, what? You took down a Thunderbird? Or a Stormbird? I'm mixing up. I'm mixing up the machines. Thunderjaw and Stormbird. I said Thunderbird. Did you hear me, guys? I said Thunderbird. Okay, let's go this way. Am I going the right way? Oh, it's this way. See the hovering yellow square. Run in the middle of this religious ceremony. <laughs> Running in the middle of that religious ceremony reminded me of a friend um, that I used to work with uh, named Ethan. So I used to get rides from time to time from him to work. Um, rides from him. And there was this one time that there was like this funeral pr procession, like kind of like blocking up the road with their cars and driving slow and... I mean, obviously, it's, you know, kind of, you know, frustrating if you're trying to get to work and you run into that, but it's a dang funeral process procession. Anyway, he didn't care. He just honked his horn. He just laid onto his horn. Beep! The whole time. These poor people are mourning their loved one, and this kid did not care. It was funny and extremely embarrassing at the same time. Upstairs. 
Sorry. That that reminded me of him. I had to I had to tell you that story. No Assis either. Maybe Ligon knows where they are. Okay, I'm shutting up. Something's going on here. So Assis and Ligon are missing from their normal haunts. Triforce! Triforce! I think the uh, developers of this game were fans of uh, Zelda, because you see a lot of Triforces all over the place. I wonder if it's an actual Easter egg or if it's just the design they decided to implement. All right, looks like Ligon is here. He's asking. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Delana did as well. Oh, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm, you might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. Oh. So... What's its name? The uh, Red Claw? Red Maw. Red Maw is another Thunderjaw. It's a legendary Thunderjaw. So since we did so well on the first one, maybe we can do really well on this one. If Lana can bring down the Mighty Machine, she will become Sunhawk, which is currently what Assis is. He's the Sunhawk. She's a hawk, and I'm a thrush, which, depending on where you look it up is either a small bird or a fungal infection of the mouth. Assis will do anything to prevent that from happening. Assis is kind of like racist. Something like that. He doesn't like primitive peoples. Yeah. We'll just call it racist for simplicity's sake. Ooh. Okay, we haven't been down here. Uh, we... Yeah, video's only half an hour. I think we might be able to go down here and... Maybe? Let's try it. Let's try it. If we don't make it, we won't make it. That's okay. We took down two giant machines today. Alright, let's go find Talana. Uh, let's fast travel first. Courtesy of UFC Knight, the Great. Alright, looks like I can only get down to this green one. That will change, guys. That will change. The more campfires we discover, the further we can fast travel. Although I do admit that this game is awesome even if you don't fast travel. Let's restock. Okay. Okay. We are fully stocked. And we're going to keep tear blast arrows right there. Hey guys, look! There's a mount. Easily accessible. I say that we override this mount. Let's work together. You are now mine. Aw, look. Parts of his face fell off. in the right direction. Let's make sure we're going in the right direction. We are. There's a merchant over there. Let's see what we're running into. Another campfire. Why didn't we fast travel to this one? That's alright. We're really close to it. Metal flower. Long legs. Those can be dangerous. Alright. We'll just be careful. There's the chargers, the horses, more horses. Look at this. This game is beautiful, guys. I know I keep saying it, but I have to reiterate. I think that is the long leg. All right, I think we should not just run past the long leg. Let's kill them. Uh, free sack on the chest. Let's get in the grass. There's also a campfire up here we can get. 
Uh, we'll look it up. Free, chat, free sack on the chest. I remember. Uh, long legs. This one. Weak to shock. Good. Uh, yep. Oh, it's not a free sack. It's a concussive sack. It's got a power cell on its back. So we're going to do shock. And its wings are weak. And also, its bow head. You can tear its head feathers off. I say we... We'll shoot shock arrows at him until he free uh, until he uh, gets stunned. Then we'll shoot his back. Um, yep, we're gonna do that. Shoot his back, and then if he's still alive, we'll shoot his chesticles. Inventory. We're gonna switch over from fire to. Nope, we're gonna switch over from cold. Nope, I like ice way too much. We're gonna switch the fire bow to the shock uh, to the shock bow. There we go. This is the shock one. Okay, stop, stop. Rolling winter song. You stop that right then now. All right. Let's see. Shock arrows. So our first one is going to be. I think we should get closer. I vote we throw a rock for old time's sake. Way over there. Yep, go that way. Don't turn around, please. There we go. Now his back's toward us. Now we're going to shoot him right in the back. He's frozen. Oh, that hurt us. Okay, now we're going to shoot him in the chesticles. Oh, nope. We're going to run in, and we're going to crit strike. And shoot him in the chesticles. Boom. Damn. Uh, did we alert anything? I guess we're lucky there was only one of them. Aw, poor rat. We killed a rat. Pete is gonna be mad. Sorry. <laughs> that joke was slightly inappropriate. Ooh, a turkey. This old last. Yeah, that's how fast I got over that. I'm sorry guys, I'm a meat eater. Let's call our mount back. Uh, jeez. Okay. Stock. We're good. Okay. Alright. Hello, Roach. Roach is a Witcher reference. Roach is Geralt's mount. And Geralt, no matter how many times he loses his mount, always names his new horse... Roach. Always. Oh! Look! More long legs. I think they're long legs. Strider. No, they're striders. There is one long leg. I think we can safely run past these guys, though. They're not in our way. Let's focus on getting to, uh, to the big giant legendary Thunderjaw Red Maw. Almost to the metal flower. We've got a fire campfire over here. Campfire over here. I choose this one by the metal flower. Is that the metal flower? Nope. That is a glowing rock. They won't be killing any more innocent travelers. Who won't? I did not see what you were talking about. Have you reached the fireplace yet? Or the campfire? It's over there. Uh, what's that? 
Fraser. Stalker. Fraser. Fraser. I think. I think uh, we can switch to fire. Back to fire. We need to anyway, because the Thunderjaw is resistant to shock. So, fire. That one. Yep. Shark fire bow goes up. We got a rope caster. Fire arrows. Look at all of those blast targets. There goes the stalker. You can see him. He's invisible. All right. I think we're going to. Do I have to. Oh, kill him. Boom. Run away from him. Oh. Oh, got me. Oh, got me again. Alright, let's... Shoot it right in the right in the eyes, right in the kisser. Oh no, that didn't work. That didn't work either. Why am I having such a hard time loading? Whew. That was a close one. Luminous braiding. Alright, we got a lot of stuff over here. I think we should heal up. Because we're a little low. Gotta fill up our uh, medicine pouch, too. Look at all these echo shells. Three echo shells from the stalker. It's like a invisible lizard, by the way, guys. The stalker, or not lizard, leopard. <sighs> hey, look. More free explosions. Hello, you. Thought you could hide from me. Why would I want to get out of it? Look, he's gonna die. Look at that explosion, guys. Dead. Or whatever machines are, because they don't live, right? They're just machines. This is not about AI. Although I suspect there might be AI behind all these machines. Aw, poor rat. Okay. Now, out of curiosity, if I run into a stalker again, what should I do? There's a lot of stalkers in this area. Stalker, where are you? There you are. Shock. Okay. Tear, tear, and tear. So, I did use a lot of tear, but next time I'll also use shock because it's, uh... Let's see. None of these are actually weak against shock. But stealth generator on its side, so I could see it. It's got a mine launcher on its booty hole. Um, so it can drop mines everywhere. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, it's got a dart gun on its back. And then the shock. Um, guys, I'm going to pause it. Uh, nature's calling. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Enough about stalkers. Let's go find Red Maw. All right. Where is our mount? Uh, on the way, guys, we're going to have to keep an eye out for more um, red plants. Red plants are health. It's medicinal, I swear. That's all. What's that? The charger. 
Where did my mount go? Soon enough. My mount's dead. Okay. Well, how convenient. There's another charger right there. Oh. Clint Hawks. Okay. Ready now. Give me a second. There we go. Let's go, Roach. Another signal. Oh, look! Red flower. Squirrel! See? UFC Knight is already correct because I could have picked that without getting off of my mount. I see the value. I see the value. Um, we are almost to level. Did we get any levels? No, from both of those, from the Thunderjaw. We didn't get a level from the Thunderjaw or the Storm, Storm, Hawk, Thunder, Stormhawk, Stormbird. Oh. Okay, map. Dang, there's a stalker site down here. Okay, well, let's hope we don't run into the stalkers while hunting Red Maw. That would be a bad mix. Invisible cats with landmines coming out of their butt, firing lasers at us while invisible, and hunting a gigantic legendary. Uh, what's going on up here? Oh, they're fighting something. How much do the seats pay you? That sounds like her. Oh. I don't think they're fighting Red Mom. These guys all enemies? Whoa! No, you don't. They're all enemies. What the hell? See, I ran right into the midst of them and just activated all of them like an idiot. There is a new tall neck. Okay, let's hide. Hide in the grass. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, we did get lucky. Look at that. They lost track of us. Off some headshots. Let's load up a couple arrows. There's, there you are. And loading up another arrow because I missed both of those. Jeez. Again. I swear, sometimes I'm like the damn sniper. Uh, potion? Oh, man. I'm running out of potions, guys. Boom. See? That was like a sniper shot right there. Oh. I thought that was going to be a sniper shot. I need my glasses on, guys. Out of ammo. Let's make some more ammo on the run. Okay, we got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, which, where are the enemies? They're, they're enemies. Why didn't that hit you? That's not where my target was. That was a good shot. Well, let's hope they didn't kill Talana. She looks she looks okay. Talana's like waiting for me to talk to her and I'm like going around looting people. <laughs> Can you imagine? 
Can you imagine that in real life? The insensitivity. She's like, check out this motherfucker. Sorry, guys. I gotta be careful with my bad words. Last thing I want is this video to get taken down for one F word. The whole video over one F word. I specifically put in here not for kids. Just in case something slips out like that. I'm only a man. <laughs> Dad, I hope you're enjoying yourself. I certainly am. I sound like a crazy person sitting here talking to myself. Thank okay. you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They die for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Oh, guys, guess what? We might get to Why kill Redmaw! After Redmaw alone. Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his thrush. <sighs> My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride. <laughs> Even though he knew we needed to unseat Assis. Oh, gosh. I just realized we're about to go and try and fight Red Maw without any uh, real potions. Let's get some meat. You need potion. You need need, need, need meat, meat to create potions. I'm not sure where a season Red Maw went from here. I can follow their tracks. Nope. Let's see if we can make some potions real quick. Crafting. See, I've got new carry capacities I've got to upgrade here. This one. Fish can wrap up. Ooh, see? Those rats did have a use. Look at that. I can craft a sling ammo pouch upgrade, which I haven't actually used yet. I haven't used the sling, really. I think I used it for that one. Okay, can I upgrade any of these? See, this one right here, I should upgrade. That's the rope caster, but I need turkey skin. Okay, that's not that bad. These are really weird ingredients for pouch uh, carry capacity upgrades, just saying. But I get it. Uh, let's see. Potions. I can't craft any of them because I don't have enough of various meats. Let's see, I need to do more, do more hunting on the side. Okay, so got to use my focus. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a watcher. Okay. Ooh. Something big. Is that a foot? Alright, highlight. You can see it while their focus is not active. This way. Red Maw destroyed these trees. Ho ho ho, it is Red Maw. Or something really, really big. The Tarkas, I arrived in time to see him die from his wounds. And with my father, I didn't even get back. Where was Assis when your father passed? Watch him. He became Sunhawk that day. They won't even speak of the event that made it possible. And that all changes today. Got little metal bits flying off of the machine here. Jeez. Look at that. There Assises. he is. Red Maw. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's just a regular size one. I was expecting a giant one. Wow. Nice. Is that Red Maw? How can they tell that's Red Maw? Ooh, Assis is dead. Was holding his own. Yeah, we're gonna go get it. Well, we have our work cut out for us. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Okay, review. Tear blast weapons off. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta go over our pu pu Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Thunderjaw. Okay, no shock. We're already prepared there. We don't go after the blaze canister. We might use the data nexus. Knock off the. Okay, so we knock off his weapons. We knock off the side, we tie him down, we shoot him in his heart. 
Okay. Yep. We got this, guys. Let's do this. Oh, he's only got one weapon. Alright. That's gone. Alright. There's that. Let's knock off some more of his weapons. Uh, will that even work? Boom. 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 Let's knock him down, guys. We got this. It'll work. Damn. How many? Oh, we got him. We got him. All right. Let's knock. Uh, we're going to freeze him first. Damn. He gets, uh, he gets up pretty quick, man. Knock off his heart. Shoot him in his heart. Guys, we got this. No! Oh, damn! Oh, I just got messed up. Got him. Heal. Oh my gosh, heal. Where is his weapon at? He's still frozen. For now. Okay, he's not going to be frozen much longer. While we're going toward his weapon... Go toward his weapon. Because we need that, guys. We need his weapon. Gives us an unfair advantage. Dang, he's already back up. Oh, you know what it is? It's because she's doing damage. Oh, shit! Here we go again. Let's freeze him. That's it. Start freezing them again. Will it let me? I'm freezing them right in his heart. Now we're gonna shoot him in his heart again. Whew. We're doing it. We're doing it. Just a little bit more. Tie him. Oh. He almost fell on me. Still frozen. Hey guys, we got this. He dead. Woohoo! <laughs> By the sun, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. What do you mean about that? Oh. We gotta go check on what's his face. 
Oh, that guy, he dead. Uh, loot. Loot. Sorry, guys. I have to. It's compulsion. I like Thunderjaws, man. They're fun. And look at all those modifications you get. I guess I'm going to have to do some uh, farming for some good modifications. All right. Hello, Aziz. Are you dead or are you alive? Let's see, buddy. Talana. He's alive. He's still alive. Out of the way. Oh, Nora. What an asshole. Even, even dying. The lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive in dark times. No, you buried it along with my father's memory. I should have. I should have. I should have let you fight Redmore first <laughs> to soften him up. Damn. Jeez. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <sighs> okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. Very cool. I think we should go turn this quest in before ending the video. That's what I think. What is that? Oh, it's a tall neck. We're gonna have to come back down here at some point, guys. Got a lot of stuff we're missing. There's a whole town over here that we missed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Uh, I should do uh, a root beer commercial. Or a Coke commercial. I do a really good, uh, you know, like, look, listen, listen. I don't know if you heard that. I did that, that, uh, nah, I can't see that. You can't hear that. Sorry, guys. My mic's not picking it up. It's that little, uh, sighing thing you do after you drink. I do it really well. The, the key is smiling while you're doing it, and it sounds fresh. You don't want to know what they were doing. Find good Hunter's Lodge. I heard some from the VOD speak outside the palace. They were telling you. Don't pass up these goods. By the way, if you are wondering why I'm acting funny today, uh, I'm delirious. I did not get very much sleep. <clears throat> we had some AC issues in the house the other day where it was flooding underneath the unit. Um, I didn't know at the time, but apparently it's a clog. It was a clog. And that clog in the drain pipe caused the drain pan to flood overflow and then it would just drip all over the floor and let's just say I'm glad that I don't have carpet in my house just hardwood and concrete or not hardwood but hard tile and concrete because um, I had yeah some serious flooding anyway I had to put bowls and towels underneath the unit and um, change the bowl out every like half an hour to an hour or so um, over and over. So throughout the night when the AC was running, I kept having to wake up to empty the bowl, although not as often because it was cooler, but still kept having to wake up to empty the bowl and I was constantly worrying about it. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Then the next day when the AC guy came and fixed it, um, when I got home, my intent was to take a shower and go to bed immediately. Uh, that didn't happen because all of my towels were soaked and dirty. I couldn't yeah, I had to wait for the laundry to finish before I could take my shower. So I ended up going to bed and getting about, I don't know, four hours of sleep before having... Less than that, actually. So, yeah, now I'm super tired, but I think I'll get good sleep tonight. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people. 
to follow. Look, a memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. So, what's it like to be Sunhawk? It feels like sunrise after a long night. I'm in your debt. So you hate it? You'll always have a <laughs> special kidding. home here. If you want it. I'm a nightbird. That's naturally how I would uh, feel. What happens now in the lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Khan Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people to follow. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora. Yeah. <laughs> May you always take your prey. I like her. All right. Guys, thank you for watching. Dad, I hope you feel better. And I hope you were entertained at least a little bit. I know you like big monsters, so I think, I think you'd like this video. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, I hope you guys all have a good night. Thanks for watching. And if you liked, subscribe, please, and like the video. If you're, you know, not of family members who have already done them. Alright, good night.